Welcome to ArcGIS from Beginner to Pro course. So let's look at the course content here. So the course is divided into 10 sections. As you can see, there are 10 sections, but there is also another section called the bonus section. So if you take that into account, there are actually 11 sections in this course. So these are the sections and how many videos each section holds. So let's first look at the first section, which is the introduction section. Introduction section. It has three videos. So the first video of the introduction section is based on concept related to spatial data analysis. And uh, what we are going to be looking at in this course, a bit of that as well. And in the second video, we have the I have listed out the software which will be used so that you may check that you are if you have already have that software or if you need to download those software. And in the third video is the introduction to ArcGIS. Here I showed you the website of ArcGIS software, the official website, and how you can download it from, how you can download the trial version from there, the 21 day trial version that they offer. And that was it in this section. And then we have the next section, which is the ArcMap basics section. So this section has 12 videos. So the first video is on the interface. In this video, we're going to learn a, a bit about the interface, how you can input data there, and how you can link folders, all those things. And, that, and then the second video is on GeoDatabase. So we're going to see how you can use the GeoDatabase and how you can uh, uh, link the GeoDatabase according to your needs. In the third video, uh, I have talked about the attribute tables of shapefiles. Uh, if you don't know what shape files are yet, uh, you'll uh, be able to know what they are once you start the course. And then the fourth video is on making selections. The fifth video is on zooming, how you can zoom. The sixth video is on magnify. Magnify in ArcMap is actually another way of zooming. And then the seventh video is on coordinate systems and measure. So uh, I wanted to make these two topics into two videos, but somehow it seemed that it would be better if I discussed both of these things in a single video. That's why this video has two topics. And then in the next video, the eighth video, we have change color of shapefiles. So in this video, we're going to learn how we can change the color of shapefiles. And in the next video, we have adding fields and calculating geometry. In this video, we're going to see how we can uh, add new columns to our attribute table and how we can calculate land area using this software. And then we have uh, the 10th video, which is how to add population or any other data. We're going to see how we can uh, input any data, for example, population, rainfall, or soil classification based on area to our attributes table and then in the 11th video we're going to see how we can save or export new shape files so uh, it is not basically saving it is exporting a file as a new shape file after we have worked on that file and then in the 12th video we're going to see how we can a add labels Okay, so that was it in this section. Let's move on to the next section. This next section is on geoprocessing. So in geoprocessing, we're going to be looking at geoprocessing tools to conduct different kind of geoprocessing tasks. The tasks are such as merging shape files, dissolving shape files, and then uh, splitting the uh, splitting a single shape file into multiple shape files and then we're going to see how we can clip shape files we're also going to see two more things and those are buffer and intersect how we can use the buffer and the intersect to solve various problems i have used examples for these videos so that you may understand a bit better so moving on to the next section this section is the arc catalog section uh, in the first video of this section, I'm going to be introducing you to our catalog and then in the next video, in the second video, we're going to see the folder display options in our catalog and in the third video, we're going to be talking about the catalog tree in our catalog and in the fourth video, we're going to learn uh, how we can observe shape files in our catalog how those are displayed there, what information can we see, what information can we change, all those things. 
and then we have the next section which is the working with shapefile section in this section uh, we're just going to see how we can work with our shapefiles so in the first video we have the statistics uh, this shows us the statistics of values or the data we have import imported with the shapefile and then in the second video we're going to be looking at the field calculator so what the field calculator is what it does and then in the third and fourth video we're going to be looking at creating graphs from shapefile data and then in the fifth video we're going to look at data types the types of data that can be used in shapefiles in the sixth video we're going to uh, take a look at how we can change color of our polygon selection so in ArcMap whenever you select a certain polygon of a shapefile there is a way to understand that you have made a selection so that selection actually happens with a certain color or a border color so we're going to see how we can change that selection color and then in the seventh video we're going to be talking about the shape file transparency for example if you have two identical shape files representing different kind of values and they're above one another but you need to see both of them then shape file transparency is very useful and then in the eighth video we are going to be talking about choroplath mapping which is basically map uh, applying different colors to certain portions of your map for example we have a picture here as you can see this is a choroplath map and then we have choroplath mapping part 2 so the choroplath mapping is actually video 8 and video 9 both both videos are on the same topic so let's move on to the next section and the next section is the map making section this section uh, is a section that is valued by many students and most people actually uh, enroll into courses just to learn this thing okay but so we're going to be looking at that as well now we have six videos on map making the in the first video we're going to be making just a simple map to understand the concept of map making in the second video we're going to see how we can edit our legend and in the third video we're going to see how we can add different variables of data into our legend most legends actually have one kind of data for example if a legend contains the data of names or it contains the data of a certain thing for example it will contain population or it will contain rainfall data but in this video we're going to see how we can add multiple legends okay and then in the fourth video we're going to see how we can add a base map uh, behind our map so that it gets a better look and then in the fifth video we're going to see how we can change the layout size the print size so we know that there are different kinds of paper sizes a3 a4 and for mapping there are also other kinds of paper sizes so how you can fit to those paper sizes how you can make your workspace match those paper sizes and the scaling as well and then how you can print your maps all those things we're going to be talking about in the fifth video and in the sixth video we're going to be looking at the study area mapping which is required by many people so let's move on to the next section the next section is map tracing section in this section we're going to see how we can trace an existing map to add georeferencing to it or to update it or just to make a digital map for example uh, if you have a very old map that is not digitized uh, that is a hand-drawn map you can take a picture of that map you can put it on your put it on your software then do georeferencing to it to give it uh, locations and then you can trace it to make a digital version of it so we're going to look at all those things in this section so this section has three videos the first video is on georeferencing how you can do georeferencing the second video is on making shape files how you can create new shape files and the third video we're just going to see how we can trace okay so the concepts that we're going to be learning in th this section can also be applied to map digitization but in the videos i have mostly talked about map tracing i mean i have shown you map tracing but you can use that same knowledge 
to map digitize now we have the google earth and arcgis section in this section we're just going to see the bridge between arcgis and google earth so in the first video we're going to see how you can project a shape file of arcmap on google earth pro and in the second video we're going to see how you can make shape files for your arcmap software using google earth pro and in the third video we're going to see how we can make polyline features using google earth pro so this section has three videos let's move on to the uh, last section last official section which is working with raster files so in this section we are just going to be working with raster files we're going to see how we can classify elevation how we can reclassify raster cell sizes we're going to see how we can do euclidean distance raster how we can uh, make euclidean direction rasters and then from video 5 to video 9 we are going to see the digital elevation mapping how we can do that i have divided that into five parts so that you may understand it better and the study load doesn't get much more than it requires to be and then in the 10th video we're going to be talking about contour mapping how you can make contour maps using your arcmap software or arcgis whatever you want to call it and then we're going to see two more things that is slope mapping and hill shade mapping so that is all for this section as well and then we have the bonus section so i'm not going to talk about the bonus section and the contents of the bonus section because it is not public it is only for those who will enroll to the course so thank you very much for watching and i hope i'll be seeing you in the course thank you